Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a non-standard equation. Why is it non-standard? Because we have two variables, cosine and a quadratic term. So this problem requires a non-standard method. Let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, I'm going to go ahead and add y squared to both sides. So we can isolate the parabola and the trigonometric function. And then what is the catch, right? So we're going to solve this problem using inequalities. So here's how it goes. Cosine is bounded from above and below. So in other words, we can say that cosine of any angle is between negative 1 and 1 inclusive if alpha is a real angle, of course, right? For complex, it's a different story. Now, what does that give us? Let's go ahead and take a look at the right-hand side. We have y squared plus 1. So what do you know about y squared plus 1? It's a parabola. Does it have any x-intercepts? What does it look like? So here's what we know. y squared is, if y is real again, is greater than or equal to 0. If you add 1 to both sides, you get y squared plus 1 is greater than or equal to 1. So here's what we have. If you replace this alpha with pi x, you get that cosine of pi x is less than or equal to 1. We don't care about the negative 1 because we're interested in some overlap and here they overlap at, wait a minute, what's the overlap? Is this possible at all? Yes. Can something be less than or equal to and greater than or equal to 1 at the same time? Yes, if they're both equal to 1. So we have to have the equality. Thanks to the equal sign, we have a solution. So this is only possible if cosine of pi x is equal to y squared plus 1, and they're both equal to 1. Make sense? OK, great. Now, what does this give us? Well, y is easy to solve. Let's start with that. So this means that y is equal to 0. Straightforward, right? What about the other one? Cosine of pi x equals 1. Think about cosine of which angle is going to be 1 on the unit circle that is pi over 2 or 0 or 2 pi, right? This is where sine is 1. This is where cosine is 1. So what does that mean? It means 0 or 2 pi or 4 pi. In other words, multiples of 2 pi. So in other words, we can write pi x as, we, we can write pi x as 2n times pi, right? Multiples of 2 pi. So from here, we have an easy solution. Pi cancels out because it's not 0. And we end up with x equals 2n. n is an integer, by the way. n is an integer. And we got a solution. What does this mean? x needs to be an even integer and y needs to be 0. So it's kind of interesting because we have two variables but a single equation and it's not a Diophantine equation. So we're looking for real solutions but we end up with integers but that's okay. And here's the solution set, right? So Obviously, one of the methods to understand what is going on with the interaction, like how do these functions or graphs inter um, interact, is to look at a graph. So that's why I kind of made a graph for you, and let's go ahead and take a look. First of all, here's the solutions from Wolfram Alpha. x is 2n, y is 0, n is an integer, same as before. Yay, Wolfram Alpha can verify our findings. And then let's go ahead and take a look at the graph. Yes, the graph of the relation cosine pi x equals y squared plus 1. Wait a minute, is there any graph? Yes, unfortunately, Desmos can only show 0, 0. I don't know why it doesn't show the other point, and that's not even very clear. But yes, that's one of the solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.